I'm Kelly from Light Hoof Equine Mud Management, and this summer we are doing a barn makeover giveaway, and we are giving away 20 free Light Hoof Equine Mud Management panels to help someone make over a barn that they need to improve. So as part of this, we are making over a barn here so that we can show you an example of what can be done. And at this phase in our project, we are doing our project planning, we're scheduling our tasks, and we're outlining the entire makeover and how we're gonna do it. So this video is a how to plan your barn makeover. So here we go. So step one of your barn makeover planning session should be to define your scope. So you wanna outline a particular area for your project and, and be very specific with that. So in our example, what we're doing is the exterior of the north side of one barn. So that's gonna include the paddocks, it's gonna include the stall doors, it's gonna include the siding. Um, it's not gonna include any of the interior of the stalls, it's not gonna include anything on the other side of the barn, we're not doing anything to the tack room. So it's really important that you outline your scope and you pick a reasonable scope so that you can prevent any kind of creep of once you dive into the project needing to do more than you originally anticipated which could blow your budget and your timeline. So even if you want to redo the entire barn and everything in it, keep that dream, hold on to it, make a Pinterest board about it and then break that down into bite-sized projects. So. For our project, we're doing our exterior. We're gonna use the light hoof panels that we're giving away um, or the same quantity that we're giving away so that you can see how that's done. So before you uh, jump into any planning as part of defining your scope, make sure you really know the details of that area. So it may look like 20 panels worth of mud management, but maybe it's 18. So take specific measurements, inspect everything you have, maybe, you have something that needs to be replaced that you weren't expecting to replace that you'd find later on in the project and write it all down so that you have all your details handy when you're ordering materials and scheduling your jobs. Step two, list the actions needed. So this is the fun part. So this is where you take your whole dream for that particular area and you break it down and check off everything you need to do. So think about every step you're gonna take um, when it comes to your project. So for us, we have new Dutch doors to install on the stalls. So that's gonna break down into removing the old Dutch doors and it's gonna be staining the new Dutch doors. It's gonna be hanging the new Dutch doors. So this will be basically the start of your to-do list. So take everything you need to do and jot it down and then break those steps down into smaller steps. You wanna be able to uh, chunk it down as, as small as you can so that you can schedule out each of those steps in the order that they need to be done. And include, as you're doing that, any steps to acquire your materials. So for example, for this project, we ordered pre-made Dutch doors. So one of the steps would be call Barn Pros and place your door order so that everything is accounted for when you're planning your project. This is a great time to research and make a list of the cost of both your materials that you're going to be using for this project and any labor. So if you have to hire help, um, if you have to hire a contractor or the kid down the street to help you finish it, you want to make sure that's accounted for now. And then at that point, you're able to make decisions about spending to be able to fit your budget. So let's say, for example, you wanted a more expensive fencing material and you decided that that wasn't gonna work for your budget. Now's the time where you can redesign your plan to include something that is gonna fit or expand your budget to, to be able to meet your needs and what you really want for your makeover. And then the next thing you wanna do with your list, once you have all the steps broken down, is determine which steps are dependent on other steps so that you're able to put that all in the order you need to get it done. And that brings us to step three, calendar and or Gantt your tasks. So a common 
project management tool is a Gantt chart that you can use to arrange all of your tasks on a timeline that shows dependencies between tasks and gives you an idea of the required order of actions you're going to need so that when you get to one task, you've completed everything you need to be able to, to even do that task. So there's project management software that you can use if you've got a huge project going on, but most barn makeover projects can get by with just a simple calendar and thinking through it all. So you can use a Google, Google calendar, you can use a wall calendar, however you prefer to calendar things. You can pencil it in, you can use sticky notes that you can move around on your calendar. Um, you'll take each of your tasks, you'll manually determine what steps are blocking other steps, what things need to be um, accomplished before you can move on to other things and you'll insert each of those on your calendar in the appropriate location. Now your initial estimate will almost always be uh, not enough. So always plan a couple of extra days or even an extra week for a larger step in order to account for any delays that you might run into that you will run into on the course of the project or anything that might come up and surprise you. Make sure when you're calendaring your tasks that you're paying, paying special attention to lead time for materials. Um, so for example, if you wanna order something for your project and it takes three weeks to arrive, you have to plan for that in your schedule so that your task to order it is three weeks ahead of your task to install it. Um, also plan for scheduled contractors and deliveries. Maybe you wanna subcontract out the painting of your barn. Make sure that your painter is available on the days that you've calendared him in, or you're gonna have gravel delivered um, for your light hoof. Make sure that that is scheduled well ahead of time so you don't run into something like not having gravel on the day you're ready to fill your light hoof panels. And then finally, and do do this, it may sound silly, but schedule a barn warming party for your new barn and invite all of your friends. Make sure you schedule it with a little bit of buffer time just in case you have some last minute things to do. But scheduling that barn warming party where you get to show off your makeover, it's not only an important way to feel good about all the hard work you've done, but it gives you accountability and holds your feet to the fire on your schedule so that it can't get pushed out. So that is it. We are done with our how to plan your barn makeover session and we are going to get into planning this barn makeover and we'll be ready to show you the next steps on our project in the next video. Thanks.